on coding in RQDA. In this session, we will learn how to add codes in RQDA, rename or delete any existing code, assign a code to any selected text, or generate a report for any code. What is a code? Code is a meaningful concept. As you know that, the terms of themes and sub-themes are most commonly used in qualitative data analysis. So the code is similar to uh, a theme or sub-theme. So the terms code are synonyms of themes or sub-themes. How to add and use codes? Seven steps are recommended. In step number one, create a tentative list of codes then add memos for the codes. So for each code, you may need to write a separate memo. Step three, open data files and read them. Step four, decide which text would relate to which code. Sometimes it also happens. You may find a need to add some additional codes. Step 5. Select a text and assign the relevant code. Step 6. Make annotations. Annotations are in fact explanations, notes related to some technical terms or localized terms or any other terms used in the text. Finally, generating a report for each code. So before we proceed towards RQDA, so let me explain a few terms which we will use in RQDA. Mark and unmark. Mark and unmark are in fact the two very important functionalities. Mark functionality is used to assign a code to some text, whereas unmark functionality is used to remove a code from a text memo as i mentioned earlier when you want to add uh, some details or some notes related to a code so then you use the functionality of memo annotations to annotate means to add notes to some text so here you can add definitions of any terms used in the text Suppose during interview, one of the respondents used some localized term which is not familiar in the literature. So you are in a need to add some details or definition of that particular term or the meaning of that terms. So then uh, you can use the functionality of annotations. So the basic difference between the memo and annotation is that memo is used to provide details related to a code whereas annotation is used to add details related to some text or some term. Finally, a term which we use very frequently in data analysis is coding retrieval. Coding retrieval refers to a functionality which is uh, used to generate a report of the text assigned to a code. Let's do it in RQDA. So you see here, so this is a main interface of RQDA. On the right side, you, you find the main categories of functionalities. So the project files, then the codes and on and on. So in the project, what you do, you create some new project or open an existing project so then in the files what you do you import data files so i have already created a project and uh, loaded six data files right so now coming to the codes functionalities so you see here so there are six functionalities six functionalities you can add a code, a new code, 
you can add, delete an existing code or rename an existing code you can add a memo to an any code you can make annotations for any terms used in the text you can use this functionality as the coding for generating report you can use the functionality as the mark for assigning some text to any code you can use the functionality of unmark to uh, unmark a text from or remove any code from any text let's try to do it so go to the files let me open up some data file so here's the data file so say for example this one is the text which is related with the bar suppose so here is the list of codes I have already added let me see if any code of var exists here or not so there's no let how can I add it just go to add and here write var so you see a new code has appeared here right however it is not it is still not uh, appearing here in the text and how to mark this one so select the relevant text and then go to the code and then mark it now you see this text has been highlighted with a new color and just before the start of the text so that new code has appeared here right so how to rename any code Say for example, I want to rename this code of the bar. So select the code and you know, rename it. So here I write bar project. So you see it has been changed. However, it's still it has not been changed here. So you will need to change it here. Select click the option of the functionality of a rename problem let me write here for example definition so you see the name the code has been renamed if I want to delete it just select it and delete it and if you want to add some details related to any code so just select the text and here click the memo right here so legislation refers to and save it and then next time when you select that particular code and then click memo so it will sh show you the notes already uh, Add it into the memo and now you can add more notes here coming to the annotations you see here it's not yet active we need to go to some data file say for example here just before the uh, wake here I want to add some notes to this particular term the wake up so go to the codes you see now it's not active so wake up means blah 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 you can add more, some more notes here cross it now you see here just before that particular term mark of annotation is appearing here and if you click that mark so annotation will appear here and it, it will show you the details so this is how you can add a new code or delete an existing code rename an existing code or add a memo to an existing code or add some details to some terms in the text or use the terms of the mark and unmark 
Finally, coming to the functionality of the coding. Coding is used to generate the code. So if you see here, so my curse, I have selected legislation and when I select the coding, so the all text, wherever text was present, which was assigned to legislation code, so they are appearing here. Now you see here, so two pieces of information are available here. So this part is showing the name of the file in which this particular text is present. Second part shows the serial number of the characters. From which character of the text to which character of the text this text is present. So it shows that from 2,860 character of data one file to 2,969 character of data one file this is present. And similarly, this one also. So here you see, so this is just a summary. So it shows that the only only two texts have been assigned to the code of legislations. Now, if you want to see where this text is located, so just click this option of the uh, back. So you see this uh, data file will open up, and here you see the legislation is uh, appearing. 